no problem if we have 1 John 5, 7, which explicitly defines the Trinity. Give us the verse and then should it be in or should it be out? Uh, 1 John 5, 7 that's found in the King James Bible says that there are three witnesses in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Spirit, and these three are one. This is a verse that was added to the Bible in 1522 when Erasmus, who was the first uh, publisher of any Greek New Testament, got pressure from the church to add this Trinitarian statement because it had been found in some Latin manuscripts. And so there was some scribe by the name of Roy working in 1520 at Oxford, and he writes out this whole Greek New Testament and somehow gets into Erasmus' hands. And Erasmus never made the promise that he'd put it in if, if he found such a manuscript, but he basically said the reverse. I didn't put it in because I didn't find any manuscript. So he finds this manuscript. I'm sure somebody brought it to his door. And he writes in that Greek text, and he actually changes the text from what Roy had written, because Roy didn't know very, Greek very well. He wrote, translated the Latin into Greek, you know, and Erasmus had to make the fixes. But it's not found in our ancient manuscripts. It's found in four 16th century manuscripts, and four manuscripts in the 12th century or later in the marginal note with a 16th or 17th century hand. That's a passage that I'd have to say, this is not authentic. And the ancient church never even thought about it being authentic. Yeah. Okay. So they were able to determine the Trinity. So for 1,500 years, you stack up all the documents and the copies that you had, and there's not one copy that's got that verse in it. Not one Greek copy, right. Okay. We have it in a few late Latin Vulgate manuscripts. Yeah.